Well, hello there, it's Greggy Soriano, and welcome to another episode of Greggy's Digest. If you're into satisfying cake decorating videos, please be sure to like this Facebook page and view my playlist to binge on all of my cake videos. It's absolutely free. Oh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to click the subscribe button and ring-a-ding-ding that little bell to get notifications every time I post a new cake video. Without further ado, let's make our sweet dreams a reality and get to caking. Crumb Coat and Vinyl Coat, an 8-inch round cake, 6 inches in height, with white buttercream. When you spread over your final coat on the top, be sure to make some excess buttercream go over the ledge so that when you scrape it, it pushes right up to the top edge and it makes a really beautiful unkempt edges to your cake. I have a number one tip fitted on different shades of green and I'm piping out almost like embroidery and stitching and the way I'm piping them out I'm doing them in a shape that is very organic which I really love I'm really obsessed with this type of shape and I'm just going around and doing different patches in odd numbers in order to get a straight line when you pipe you want to touch it and then drag and drop so you want to touch lift drag and drop <laughs> it kind of sounds like a dance craze touch lift drag and drop touch lift drag and drop pipe some mini beads in really tight rows just like this and the way to do this is to add a little bit of pressure and then pull pressure pull pressure and pull be sure to take your time and make it nice and neat. Add some sixlets and some lighter green nonpareils, and you want to create the same exact organic shape and strategically place all of these dragees and sprinkles and all of these jimmies and johnnies. You'll, you're going to see what a johnny is later on. This is I call them johnnies because it's longer than an actual sprinkle. Here are some gunmetal colored nonpareils. And here are some Johnnies. They're quite long, and I love the fact that they're long, and it's not quite a Jimmy, and it's not quite a sprinkle. It's basically a Johnny. Strategically place a minimal amount of edible gold leaf throughout the spaces of all of your piping work. Knead and warm up some modeling chocolate in your hand and pass it through a sieve to create this type of mossy kind of look. With the number 102 and 104 tip in different shades of green buttercream, pipe on some three leaf clovers and one four leaf clover throughout the cake. Thank you. 
Mix some vodka with a little bit of edible gold dust and paint some of the modeling chocolate moss and pretty much anywhere you think it would be perfectly painted on just so that it has just the right amount of gold in the perfect spot. And here we have it, our green buttercream embroidery cake. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to go to greggysoliano.com and purchase something from my Amazon store to support this channel. I'll talk to you later. Bye!